Hi everyone, this is the second part of new series of videos introducing Power 3D to beginner users. In, in the previous session, we talked about the ways of creating Power 3D and uh, in this video, uh, we're going to close the discussion by uh, showing you uh, another way of creating Power 3D and then we move to next step which is uh, to see how Power 3D uh, works with Max Object and how it tracks the Max Object information within itself. All right. In in previous video, uh, we we used to create an array from a single object, and and from there you could you could create an array of the single object, uh, or or simply assign a controller on it. Now I'm going to show you, uh, you can also create array from a multiple objects. Let's duplicate this object by cloning it. So I'm going to just pull my shift key and slide this over. Uh, this is a max operation, has nothing to do with para. So I can choose a uh, number of copies here. All right, I got 10 instances. And then here, from here, I select all of this, and then I go over the create parametric array tool, and then this time you see that the options that um, were enabled before they all disabled, and uh, that means I'm going to create an array with a fixed number of items. So I already have 11 boxes, as you can see, 11 objects are selected and it gives me an array of 11 boxes. Well, even from the modified panel, as you can see under array settings, the parameters that are responsible for number of items in your array, they are also disabled. So that means if you create a parametric array from a set of existing objects, you won't be able to change the number of them and that is a fixed array so far. Okay, so now we know that we can create our array from, from existing object, but the question is, what if I have different type of objects? For example, I have multiple type of objects and then, and then I select them and then create a present create array still allow me to create a parametric array object and I'm just going to create that and you can see the, the parameters of one of the objects which initially was selected is listed in my para list so I can basically change the parameters for other objects this is going to just uh, shows the first object parameters what well, that basically means I can't assign the controllers to these parameters under the object category. But I'm still able to control the position, rotation, and the scale of the objects because these are a transformation and it can be applied on all kind of objects. So it's very important uh, to know when you have different kind of objects with different modifier stack. It is not possible to control the property of those from parametric array it is only possible to control the transformation which includes position rotation and scale well now we learn how to create paratree nodes and uh, next video uh, i'm going to tell you about how paratree nodes are connected to max objects and how they can control the max object properties. So see you next time.